What is up everybody, this is Sam Funk here and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something I've been working on for a couple of weeks, well, a week now actually. It's how to compile Zen Orchestra from source by yourself without the use of any script. Now, oh, why would you want to do this? I've been using a script that's on GitHub to compile and update Zen Orchestra automatically here now for the past couple of months and the script is old now but it's still supported it still works I tested it out yesterday the script still works including the updater but I want to reduce my reliance on third-party automation scripts things like that and install things myself manually so I can also understand them better now I will admit that in order to understand the tutorial or rather to create this tutorial, I had to lean into, I had to examine the script quite a bit to see, you know, what dependencies they used and certain criteria that had to be met. I did not just refer to these in orchestra documentation, and but I will include those links as well. Oh, so let's get started. You can see right now I'm SSH'd into an instance of Debian and let's do let's do at install neo let's quickly do at install neo fetch and i can show you you now this instance of debian is running on my zen server uh, currently it you it only has two cpu cores three gigs of ram and 50 gigabytes of storage I'm running Debian 11, even the latest version, all packages up to date. See, there's the entire system spec. Now, I will show. Now, this is best done on Debian because Zen Orchestra is a Zen Orchestra appliance itself is actually built on Debian, and so it's just a bit for compatibility reasons I'm doing this. All right, let's begin. First. First, I put in the guide right here. You want to set a static IP. This is useful so you can manage the instance better. Uh, for now, we're going to skip that. All right, this is for the prerequisites of Zen Orchestra. Oh, all of these, I'll put that right on the screen for you to see. Don't worry, all this is going to be included in the documentation. You can see all the requirements needed for Zen Orchestra up here. Yeah, but just simply install these. I'll, I've set the script up so, you, well, this document up so you can just copy and paste it in, in as 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 you please. Examine before you copy in. Always do that, no matter with what, even with my stuff. Examine it before you copy it in. Now, these are just the prerequisites so we get everything set up and going. Let's give it a second. Oh, well, this is on NVMe. Well, the hard disk is on an NVMe drive, so it's nice and snappy. All right. Clear. So you can see better. Now we need to set up Node.js. Yes, specifically... The XCP in the Zen Orchestra team recommends you use the LTS version. This curl command provided by Node.js installs the LTS version of Node. Well, it sets up the package. You then have to install Node.js. With apt get install Node.js. I'm logged in as root, by the way, so I don't have to put in sudo. But I did install the sudo package along with it so we can install the XE guest utilities. I'm not going to use this instance of Debian. It's just literally for testing. All right. Now we can verify Node.js is installed with node, node space dash V. And we should see an output. There we go. We've got Node.js installed. Now we need to set up Yarn. Now, if you go to now in my previous attempt to do this, I set up a two new version of Yarn. 
this version of yarn is required or else you will get a bunch of errors. It'll complete, but it won't compile Zen Orchestra. NMP space install space dash dash global yarn. Give it a few seconds. There we go. Now we can verify the version with yarn space dash dash version. There we go. That's the, the one we need. All right. Clear. All right. Now we've got all the prerequisites in place. Now all we need to do is pull down and the Git repository from Vates. If you're curious, Vates are the people who manage Zen Orchestra. We simply use Git clone to clone the master, the Git repository. Take note of the directories that you're in. This will be important for setting up the XO server, server to boot up automatically with the virtual machine. I'll show you where, I'll show you how to verify that. All right, this is where you also need to pay attention to the directory you're in, because if you run ls, you'll see we have a new folder for Zen Orchestra. We're going to change directory into the Zen Orchestra folder to build the application. All right, now we start off with yarn. Yarn and yarn build are two Im very important pieces because this is where we're actually compiling Zen Orchestra. Now, you can assign more CPUs because the more CPUs you assign, the quicker the, com um, the com compilation will take. But you don't, but it's meant to be lightweight, so you don't need that many CPUs to actually run it once it's done. Okay, yarn. All right. I figured out that my previous attempt to doing this, my version of Yarn was too new, and you needed this older version of Yarn because it completed but with errors, but then Yarn build wouldn't build Zen Orchestra. It would continually fail on Exo Web, Exo Dash Web server. It would fail there. But this is what you're looking for. This text. Mom's listening to jazz in the other room. Ay, she loves that. All right. Looks like things are going according to plan. Yeah, I tried making a video like this before, but I ran into that stumble because I didn't get the right version of Yarn installed. But, you know, can't have everything uh, you wanted. There we go. That's good. That's very good. Now yarn build. This is building the EXO application. You'll see a lot of text fly through the screen now. Just be patient. It'll look like it stopped at one point, but it'll it's all fine. Okay, it should look like it gets stuck here. Just give it a few seconds, seconds or maybe a minute, depending on the speed of your system. Um, but it's going fine, so don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> I get nervous when compiling software from source myself. It can be very nerve-wracking, especially if it takes a while. And especially if it's a big application. I like doing... You may notice that I do a lot of these things manually. I start off with scripts, but then you slowly get comfortable with doing it yourself once you decide to learn it. And it really can be a liberating experience and a very educational experience as well. Because it teaches you about, about different package dependencies, 
uh, prerequisites, it's system resources, and it really gets you more comfortable with it. I mean, ah, it's done. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Now we need to copy the settings. We need to set up the config. Now we're going to change directory to package exo server. Print working directory. You're going to want to take note of this work of your working directory where your Zen Orchestra instance is installed, or whether the all the Zen Orchestra packages are rather. No. So take note of that directory. Now we're going to make new directory. All right. All right. We're going to copy sample.config tall. You can change this config file to change the port that's in orchestra appears on in the web browser. But for now, we're going to do everything as default. All right. Now we're going to start in orchestra using yarn. We're going to say yarn start. And I've also placed the default username and password within the text document. All right. Give it a second. All right. Now we navigate to our browser. We're going to go to 10. The IP address of this instance is 10.0.101.40. There we go. Zen Orchestra is installed. Now it's admin at admin.net and admin as the password. Sign in. And there you go. We're in. You just have all these dashboards, services, backups. Perhaps all the stuff you need to know, especially this when you're updating the Zen Orchestra web and Zen Orchestra server. Exo, things like ExoSan and ExoProxy are actually paid features of the official ExoA appliance. We're running Exo Community Edition. So that's why you see the no support. What year? All right, now we're going we're gonna to close this tab. And if we kill this task, oh, that's my Zen Orchestra server. Now, if we kill this task right in here, here with Control C, that'll stop XO. Now, we're going to want to enable this at boot. For that, we're going to be using Glo Yarn Global Forever, Yarn Global Add Forever. So just simply run that command in the directory where your exo server is. It'll start setting up a bunch of dependencies and these and directories. That's good. Now yarn global add forever dash service. Whoops, almost copied in too little. Copy. Be very careful when you're copying in pasting commands, especially if you copy them wrong. <laughs> Trust me, I know that from experience. <laughs> All right. Now, make sure you're in the directory where your exo-server is. We're going to just confirm that by changing directory because I know we're in here, but we're going to make sure we're in that directory. So print working directory, pwb. All right. We are in the correct directory. Now, forever install Zen Orchestra. Uh, we're going to be using the root user for that, but make sure you're in the proper directory and you're using in the proper username. For this, we're going to be using root. There we go. Now, system CTL st start Zen Orchestra. Oh, sorry, start Orchestra. Now we can simply run system CTL status Orchestra. We can see it's loaded. Fantastic. Okay, now we can go back to our browser, your 10.0.101.40. We're still logged in. Okay, now I'm going to issue a reboot command, sudo reboot. And if I go back here, it should time out. Yeah, it's timing out. Out because the system is shut down. Mm. 
Let's see if we can SSH back in. We SSH back in. Run su. System CTR status in orchestra. We can see it's active. All right. Now, if we simply refresh again, then orchestra is active. Now, in order to update, I followed the documentation again. Clear. I followed the documentation and wrote it down. I haven't had the opportunity to test it out uh, because the new version was released when I created this tutorial and when I created this instance. To update, we simply run. Well, before you update, take a snapshot of your repository of the take a snapshot of the VM that you're running XOA in. In sorry, XO or community edition. Take a snapshot of it. So if you have any problems, you can revert back and check your work. Or you can rather revert back and save yourself a lot of headache of having to redo all these steps. To update, we simply run git check out. Ah, change directory to Zen Orchestra. Simply go git check out. Update three parts of the index. Git pull. Already up to date. Okay, we can see it's up to date. Then we simply run yarn and then we run yarn build. And then we restart to Zen Orchestra with system CTL restart Zen Orchestra. Now, the rest of this is how to install the Linux guest utilities for the Zen Orchestra appliance, for Zen Orchestra, sorry, I keep saying XOA, where Zen Orchestra appliance is the one provided by Vates. Now, here's the simple troubleshooting steps that they provide in their documentation. If you have a problem during the build process, follow these steps to rm-rf RF node modules. What that'll do is forcefully remove recursively really all the node modules that get built by through yarn. On and then you just simply run yarn and yarn build again. But ensure you're using the correct dependencies when you first install an orchestra. I mean, when you first install your instance of Debian. Specifically, make sure you're using the LTS version of Node. Of JS and the supported version of Yarn. But anyway, that is how to get it going. I mean, we have a fully working instance here. I'm going to do more testing about this, but I thought I'd be it best get out there how to do this yourself because once you do it yourself, it really is easy. I mean, there could be an there is an argument for the script just making things, you know, like a one liner, get it all done at once, and within five minutes. But I think the process of learning this yourself can be quite valuable. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode. And bye-bye.